in the fight against corruption, we must prosecute that fight on the basis of facts. You've heard, for example, that oh, the government has lost 21 billion in Kimware and I don't know, Aror Dam, which is a flat lie. The money in question is about 7 billion. And for every coin that has been paid, we have a bank guarantee. No money will be lost because we are a responsible government. We have engaged every arm of government to make sure that public resources are safe. And therefore, the correct information must be used as we target the fight against corruption so that we can rail the true culprits. Sometimes when we say 9 billion has been lost, and then when it goes to court, it is 100 million. The public is asking, what happened to 8.1 billion? So we shoot ourselves in the foot. So as has been said, our commitment as the executive, as the legislature, and as the judiciary, and as has been said ably by the Chief Justice, there is now a mechanism and a synergy around what we must do so that we can deliver for the people of Kenya. We must proceed on that basis and on the basis of factual information so that we can do justice to our country and we can do justice to the use of public resources in the right manner. I thought I should say this so that the narrative that is being built that everything government is doing is corrupt, we must, we must, we must be sincere and we must be, we, we must be honest about what is going on so that we don't criminalize or we don't bastardize or we don't create propaganda around every government initiative that is going on.